Misha. So today I'm going to show you how to put this short hair up and you see me wearing that hairstyle very often and a lot of you ask me to show you how I do it. So I've got a video how I've done it a few years back but my hair was much longer than this so then I did it in a bit <clears throat> different way. So what you will need is one of the hair elastics, it doesn't matter what type it is, a um, couple of these little uh, clips, again they don't have to be metal ones, they can be the little plastic ones. I got these um, from AliExpress in China, then you will need one of these but it is quite important the shape of it so you know some of them have um, like um, sort of rounded overlapping uh, teeth and I don't think these ones are that good for this purpose you need to look at something that the teeth here are quite flat um, and if I remember where I got this one I will leave you the link and then of course you need some sort of hairpiece and this one um, unfortunately you can't get this one anymore I've looked all over the world on the internet and uh, this was from Dancing with the Stars Glamorama piece you know but um, and I bought this one actually from America a while ago but it looks like these ones are discontinued but I give you a link to um, a website wigs.com they do very similar one that works the same way it's got that sort of palm clip um, and mine is in golden wheat and they do that piece in that color as well okay so first of all I need to make a ponytail so I scrape my hair back and I take all the hair that I can put into the ponytail. Now, if you like it quite flat, you do it flat. I like to have like a bump. If I can't achieve that bump because sometimes my hair is quite flat, what I will do, I will just take this section first, do a bump and take one of these clips and clip it here and then take the rest of my hair and put it into ponytail but if my hair is quite full at the front depends what day it is I don't need to do that but let's let's do it shall I show you both ways actually so let's do it without the clip and I go about that high I make a ponytail tighten it pulling it up and now to get that bump I pull a bit of the hair in here on the side and then tighten up the ponytail again and you see sometimes I get this because I have a cowlick and natural like parting then I take this and this is very important when, when it, wherever you will see uh, instructions on how to use it is usually you put it in your hair with the clip down or up but I feel that is very insecure when you put it down it's very weighty if you put it up it can fall out I put it sideways so I put it in front of my ponytail I hope you can see that so the ponytail sort of holds it I tighten up the ponytail again now you see because all my hair is quite short here it falls out but we will deal with that then I take the clip and I clip it right under that ponytail to almost anchor this clip this palm clip So I wiggle it, that's it, that's gone in and now the clip from the hairpiece is sitting on the top of that so it's not going to go anywhere. So that's done 
And then what I do with this bit, I take one of these clips, I grab whatever I've got there, I twist it, and I clip it with that. And because it's a quite pretty clip and little, it holds my hair in place. And then I just pull some bits, you know, here, I mean, I didn't want that much to, to come out, but like I said, today my hair is parting here. So let me just show you again how I do it to get the bump. So let's take this front part, sort of twist it a bit here. Maybe I need a bit more. twist it, push it forward, secure it with this clip and that gives me the bump. And then with whatever I've got left, I will make the ponytail. Of course you can control how big the bump is depending how far forward you push it. Okay, put pull it up and tighten it. Maybe my bump is a bit too big, so I just move it a bit back. And do exactly the same. Put this piece sideways in front of my ponytail. There. Do exactly the same with this clip. Make sure you close it and then deal with the little hairs. And then I pull these pieces because I have, you know, Mickey Mouse forehead. You can also pull a bit of fringe if you want, but I like it to look quite messy and throughout the day as well, more pieces fall out. And that's how I do it. So it's really easy. It's just, you know, learning those little tricks. Um, one very important thing is you have to make sure that this piece matches your hair. That's the only difficult thing with, uh, with those clip-on pieces because with the wig, you can see your own hair. But I've been so lucky with this color. I think it matches my hair perfectly. Um, therefore it looks a bit more natural. I've had this piece for ages, I've washed it and it keeps the shape and it looks really good. So this is how I put my hair up even when my hair is quite short. So I uh, remember I will link everything that I've used, um, well not everything, but this uh, in a box below. Thank you so much for watching, stay fabulous, bye!